My name's Kara, and welcome to my home studio. Today I'm sharing 12 Logic Pro tips that improve your workflow for vocal production and recording. Logic has always been one of my favorite softwares for songwriting because of its simplicity, quick learning curve, and incredible stock plugins. Logic Pro is a really great choice for beginners, and the deeper I dive into Logic, the more I discover useful advanced features, tools, menus, and shortcuts that make it even better. For today's session, we're going to be recording into my Cara for Logic vocal template, available at imcara.com, so that my raw recordings sound mixed from the start. To help me share the best tips, I've called my friend Sides, who's a dedicated Logic expert, to show us some extra special tips and tricks that you're not going to want to miss. All of these tips can be found in her Logic Pro Crash Course eBook, available at Sides.co. But more on that later. Let's get into our 12 Logic Pro tips. Hi, I'm Sides, a full-time music creator and full-time Logic user. My first tip is whenever I'm working in somebody else's studio, the first thing I like to do is customize my mouse settings to add a third tool. Hit command comma to open your settings, go to the editing tab and select right mouse button is assignable to a tool. Select the scissor tool or anything you frequently need. And now you can simply right click to edit audio or MIDI clips. And of course, command Z is your shortcut to undo. Next, if you're recording vocals with multiple takes, this is a great tip to let Logic automatically colorize and organize your recordings. Hit Option P to open your project settings, go to the Recording tab, and enable Automatically Colorize Takes. Create a cycle, which is this yellow bar on your timeline, and record a few takes of the same line. And each take will be a unique color, instead of every audio clip being the same shade of a default blue. I don't wanna die alone. This is a really helpful visual guide for later when you're comping your recording. Again, all these shortcuts and tips can be found in my ebook, which I like to keep open next to me while I'm working in Logic Pro. You can get 20% off using the promo code CARA20 now at sides.co. But back to the tips. My third tip is another organizational tip for your mixer and tracks. Open your Logic settings with the keyboard shortcut Command Comma. Go to the View tab, select Tracks, and then change track color from Static to Auto Assign 96 Colors. And now Logic will automatically choose a unique color for every track or clip. So everything you drag and drop onto the timeline gets a unique color, which helps you visually remember which clip is which and creates fun looking rainbow projects. Even the track icons are colorized to match the clips. Looks great. This next tip helps you stay in time when you're recording using the metronome. You can switch your click track on and off using the letter K or by clicking this button at the top. But if you don't want the click during playback, Logic has a setting to automatically play the metronome just while you're recording. Turn your metronome on, then right click and uncheck the box click during playback. Now your metronome will only click while you're recording. and automatically stop when you're just listening like this. I don't wanna die alone. Now let's record some vocals and create a playlist by recording the same loop three or four times. Be without you the only home I've ever known. Just wanna spend the rest of my day A's watching the sunshine from your face. I don't wanna die alone. I like to hear my recordings through autotune, so let's add the stock pitch correction plugin to the beginning of our chain by clicking the secret button above your first insert. This is super useful for adding pitch correction to any channel of my vocal template. Choose the key and scale to match your song and a response time above 120 milliseconds for naturally tuned results. Please don't leave me on my own. I don't wanna be without you, the only home I've ever known. Comping in Logic Pro is as easy as highlighting your favorite sections of each take. Please don't leave me on my own. This is where our automatically colorized takes become extra helpful in differentiating the different clips in our lead vocal comp. Just wanna spend the rest of my day is watching the sunshine from your face. I don't wanna die alone, die alone. Another tip while you're comping is quick swipe mode. 
press Option Q, then drag an audio clip left or right to adjust your timing earlier or later. Then press Option Q again to exit quick swipe mode. When you're finished comping, press the letter A and select Flatten and Merge, or press the shortcut Option U. Let's say there's one little spot you want to re-record in your lead vocal because you think you can possibly sing it better. Press Control Option Command P to enable auto punch record mode and use this red region to select the area you want Logic to automatically record over. Then press Record and Logic does the rest. I don't want to die alone Please don't leave me on my I don't want to be without you, the only home I've ever known. Sometimes you're working with vocal stems that have been recorded in another session. The files import with lots of extra silence in the beginning for alignment. Hold Command and click and drag using the Marquee tool to highlight large areas of your timeline to delete. I always leave just a second or two of empty space before and after the vocals to apply crossfades and clean up any pops and clicks. Logic Pro has a great shortcut for applying crossfades to audio clips. Press the keyboard shortcut command comma to show your settings. Go to the general tab and enable fade tool click zones. So now when you hover your mouse over the edge of an audio clip, it automatically switches to the fade tool. Or if you want to apply a specific fade length by typing in a number, you could press the letter I to open the inspector menu, drop down the region settings, more, and enter number one for a one millisecond micro fade in and fade out. And this menu is also a pop-out window you can drag and drop anywhere you like. A funky trick you can do with your crossfades is use them to create a tape stop effect you hear all the time in popular music. Take a crossfade and right click and select slow down or speed up. It also sounds awesome on instruments like this acoustic guitar. For that classic start and stop effect that sounds just like an analog record player or tape machine. One of the features I frequently use from this menu is the reverse button, which also sounds great on instruments or vocals as a special effect. My last tip is one of the most slept on features in all of Logic, and that's called Flex Pitch. It's like having all the manual pitch correction features of Melodyne, but built right into your DAW. Double click on an audio clip you'd like to tune, then click the Flex Pitch button, switch to the Flex Pitch algorithm, select one or multiple notes, then use the slider to choose your pitch correction percentage, or double click any note to snap 100% in tune. This DAW is used to boost or reduce vibrato. And this dot is used to adjust pitch drift to tune the tail ends of your notes. Just like audio, we can use our scissor tool to cut a note into two separate notes. Click and drag up or down to change the pitch of your note. Click and drag the edge of a note to adjust the timing earlier or later. In addition to pitch correction, you can use flex pitch to create artificial harmonies with a duplicate of your lead vocal that sounds like this. So there you have it, our top 12 Logic Pro tips for vocal production. If you want to improve your recording and mixing workflow, visit the links in the description for my vocal template for Logic Pro and every other popular DAW at imcara.com. To get Sides Logic Pro Crash Course ebook that we've been referencing throughout this video, visit sides.co and use my promo code CARA20 for 20% off your purchase. And finally, a special thank you to Sides for joining me in the studio, and I'll see you next time in another session. <laughs> Sorry. Everybody, sides. Welcome, yeah, sides. Watch out for the light stand. Sorry. Yeah.